Hi everyone. I've got a lot of minor medical updates, so let's get to it. Uh, let's start with my numbers for today. I weighed in this morning at 304.7, a drop of an eighth of a pound from yesterday. That's two days of drops in a row, so things are moving in the right direction again. Thank God. My blood sugar this morning was 118. I'd prefer lower, but it's still a reasonable number for me and better than some of my earlier numbers this month. So we'll say it's neither good nor bad, but somewhere in the middle at this point in my health journey. A happier number is my resting heart rate, which has dropped to 63 over the average for the past week. This shows my resting heart rate is trending downward. I like seeing that because I consider it a good indicator of my overall fitness. My walking heart rate has sunk to 99, which I don't love, but more outside walking is in my future. It was good enough weather today in the afternoon to do some outdoor walking, but I stayed indoors because I had some videos to watch, and if I'm watching TV, I might as well be walking. Speaking of walking, yesterday's total steps were 13,946. That's a good number. I like it when I get over 13,000. My active calories, according to my Apple Watch, were 1,057, getting me back above the 1,000 calorie mark where I like to be. Finally, my calories consumed yesterday was 1,843. I really like to get as close to 2,000 as possible, and I don't mind going a bit over because I'm a big guy and too few calories can cause problems. I don't want my metabolism slowing down. I spent a lot of time today thinking about my medical health. After over a month, I still haven't been able to get my Ozempic prescription filled. Walgreens has alternated between saying it's out of stock or I don't have authorization. Since I'll be going up to the Mayo Clinic later this week for testing, I moved the prescription to their in-house pharmacy. Mayo is much better at dealing with insurance than your everyday Walgreens or CVS, so I'm hoping they make progress. We'll see when I go up there. I'll be going to the Mayo Clinic on both Thursday and Friday of this week. My wife is having some minor procedures done on Thursday, and my Thursday there is going to be light. I'll just be getting a COVID and flu vaccination. On Friday, I'll be getting a pulmonary function test, which involves what is called a methacholine challenge. This is a mist you inhale and then try to blow out forcefully. All of this is supposed to measure my lung capacity and my ability to get oxygen from my lungs to my blood. That's what I know for now. I'll tell you more about it when I get back from there. I'm sure I'll have some fun experiences. I tried today to move my current PCP to one at the Mayo, but unfortunately their PCPs aren't taking new patients right now. To be clear, I like my current doctor. I just think coordinating all of my care through the same place would be helpful, especially when dealing with issues like my Ozempic prescription. It was worth a shot. On another medical front, I am still waiting to get my lab test results back from LabCorp, but in a positive sign, their customer service emailed me back and said they will be merging my results into my account. Whatever that means. On the downside, they say this can take between one and five days. It's a little frustrating. At this point, I may not know anything until my video meeting with the doctor from Verda on Wednesday. I hate waiting for things like this. So, this is going to be a busy week for medical stuff, and I should have lots to discuss in the coming days. Until then, I'll leave you with my Sir Terry Pratchett quote of the day. This one is from Soul Music. There are people of the day and the creatures of the night. And it's important to remember that the creatures of the night aren't simply people of the day staying up late because they think it makes them cool and interesting. It takes more than heavy mascara and a pale complexion to cross the divide. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please comment, and I'll see you tomorrow.